I mean, as you can see, I mean, once once you think about the big money, you know, you think about, you know, I'm about to get my big money. It's it's coming very soon. You know, that's that's everybody's thought when you turn 17 and on into 18. And receiving your big money is receiving your miners' trust fund that's built up through your whole life, getting two per capita checks a year on June 1st and December 1st. Um, and it just builds up throughout your whole life. And, you know, you look forward to getting that when you turn 18, your big money. And uh, a lot of people, you know, I've, I've heard of a lot of good intentions from our youth. And when they get it, they're going to do this and going to do that. And I fell victim to that myself. You know, I had a lot of plans and things like that. But, you know, coming from not having barely any money at all to all of a sudden getting this huge lump sum of money, it's, uh, it's you know, a lot of things change really quick when you get that money in your hand. It's just It's just overwhelming. That first week is just... It's it's surreal, but at the same time, it doesn't even seem real. So it's it's a completely different feeling than anything that I've ever felt before, and it's it's extremely overwhelming and it's powerful, and um, it's 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 really easy to make mistakes. Well, the best part about receiving my big money would have had to been just the the sheer opportunity and just every just every possible thing that you could almost want it seems like all at once you're able to do anything you almost feel like you could achieve anything that's 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 the type of sense that I felt untouchable and um at the same time extremely reckless um it's just it's just easy to do that going from not having anything your whole life to all of a sudden you know feeling just rich just having all this money and uh i feel like the wisest thing i did was just making it last as long as i could because it took care of me a lot better than than if I were to just go and buy another motorcycle or something like that. So just just making it last, making it last, being able to do something tomorrow, you know, not just today. So the worst thing I think I did was I don't know, probably just buying all the clothes and just just the impulsive things that came along with it, guns, you know, just just all kinds of stuff, random stuff. Just the little things and eating out a lot. It's just the little things that add up so much. You'd be surprised. Like, and I just tried to secure as much of it as I could and limit myself to my spending. But that's uh, this was really hard. I almost had no control. When there was something that I wanted, I, I went and got it. But, I mean, there's there there is a lot of challenges in receiving this type of money, and. For everybody, it's different, you know. I'm not gonna get too in detail, but you know, one of my one of my cousins, his big money was gone in like two months, and it made him a lot worse off because of it. Cause he had a problem prior to getting his money, then he gets this money, and it makes his problem that much worse. Runs through his money, and then it's it was detrimental to his health almost, almost took his life.